Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Java GUI tutorial. And in this, um, it's going to be a series, definitely. Probably at least three videos. We're going to be making, be making a simple but effective calculator. And I'm going to go through each part and hope you understand every part of it. So, again, we're only going to use three sets of imports. So I'm actually going to close those. So, get them now. And... Alright, so my class is called calculator because obviously we're making a calculator and it's extending J frame because that's what we've always done so far. Um I'm gonna teach you about J panels in a couple videos, so <coughs> anyways. Down a couple and declare variables, so we're gonna need four buttons. We J button add, subtract, multiply and divide. And I'm how this calculator is going to work, I'm not going to have like an equals button, I'm just going to have add, subtract, multiply, and divide buttons, and when you actually click those buttons, um, the action event is going to take place, and it's going to do the the uh, operation, so you won't even, we won't even need an equals button. You'll see when we're finished, but I don't know, that's just a new way to do a calculator. So, now we need J, text field, and then we're going to do num1 for the first number and num2 for the second number and we can only enter two numbers into our calculator and then we need j label and uh, one of them is going to be called result and the other one um, it's more like a prompt label it's uh, I'll just call it enter one and enter two just like that now down to the constructor Alright, now, I'm going to be teaching you a new layout this tutorial, and this layout is called Grid Bag Layout. And basically, this is the layout you're going to use for all of your complex programs, because this enables you to set, create a layout almost any way imaginable. So, it's a mix between Grid, bag, uh, grid Layout, um, Border Layout, I guess. So. You'll see. The nice thing about it is you don't have to declare any um, rows or columns in the beginning because you just you make them, I guess, is what you call it as you go along. So I'll do I'll I'll show you here. here. So set layout new grid bag layout. It's like that. And now we need something called grid bag constraints. And these are like if we want to move make a new grid or maybe have insets which is like padding around it or make the grid width wider you just need these constraints so type in grid bag constraints and we're just going to call it c equals new grid bag constraints and now I would recommend copying and pasting this I mean just copying this grid bag constraints word because we're going to be using that a lot and it can get a lot annoying to type it in all the time <coughs> alright so go down a couple lines and we're going to do our first first thing which is our enter one label which is going to say um, first number or first so enter one is equal to new j label and it's going to say first and a little space there and alright now this is where you need to pay attention so the first thing you always have to type in after every um, object you declare I guess is C dot and then fill equals grid bag constraints dot and then p type in horizontal because we want the layout to be horizontal not vertical or diagonal or anything like that. So in our uh, scenario it's always going to be horizontal for this tutorial but you might have it vertical or something else another time but now we're going to type in c dot grid x and it's going to be equal to zero because it's in the first grid x column and c dot grid y is also equal to zero. So basically we declared this object to be in a zero zero position on the grid and see normally if we had a grid, 
grid layout we have to type in like four or five or something and declare it up here. But the beauty of the grid bag layout is you can declare it as you go. So this one is in the top left hand corner because it's over zero and down zero. Now all you do is type in add and then whatever your object name is, enter one and comma C. And C is our grid bag constraints. Alright? So down a couple. Now we need our num one. And this is our text field. So it's our it's e gonna be equal to a new J text field. And I'm gonna give it uh width, width of ten columns. I'm gonna type in C fill equals new I mean not new, just grid bag constraints and then horizontal. Alright. And this one is gonna be C dot grid x and this one's gonna be equal to one because it's over one but the y is still going to be equal to zero because we didn't move down any so the y is still equal to zero so if you have any understanding of coordinate geometry or graphing you know that x is over and y is down and up so we've moved over one but we're still on the same row so we're on the topmost row but we're over one column so now what we need to do for this one is we want this to span three of the bottom four buttons. If I mean I know that sounds confusing now, but <clears throat> you'll see it when we actually make it. So just trust me. Type in C dot grid width, and you have to have it equal to three, and then add num one C. All right. Now we need our enter two. So enter two. Go new J label, and this one's gonna say second. <laughs> not at sign, alright? And then C dot fill equals horizontal. Alrighty. And this one, we want it to actually be down a co uh, let's see, down a co down a row, but in the leftmost column. So we're gonna do C dot grid x is equal to zero, but the grid y is gonna be equal to one. Because oh, one. <laughs> because we are in the leftmost column, but we've moved down one row. So we're over zero and down one. Because computers say this is your monitor, my window right here. This is zero zero and this is going over x, and that's positive, and going down is y like this, so like 2020 20 view right here, 4040, 40, um, maybe like 220 view like right here, just ex as an example. Alright, and now, since we have declared um, our C constraint grid width to equal 3, we actually have to reset it. And to do this, you just type in C dot grid width and type in 1. And that just resets it. And you only have to do that after you use it up here or after you have it other than one so by default um, I think it's one so if you declare it again to be one it's always gonna be one until you make it like three or four again so now add enter two C alright now we need our te uh, number two text field so num two equal new j text field ten and C fill uh, horizontal C dot grid X is equal to one and C dot grid Y is also equal to one because now we are over one and down one and this one is going to be a grid width of three just like our other text field so it lines up and then add num to C alright uh, probably time for one more thing this video. Um, actually, no, I'm going to stop this video here and um, check back for the next one. Um, you should see it right on the right hand side of this video.